Okay, hi everybody. This is Tim from Two Wolves Archery. And we just uh, got done roughing out our Black Widow um, recurve. Um, I just threw a string on it. You can see it's really roughed out. <laughs> uh, but um, right now, what I want to do is just shoot it and um, just make sure that it doesn't come apart on us before we go um, any further in the build. Um, I made this one more of a, a true center shot. I cut it a little bit further um, over so that's more of a true center shot so I don't get that arrow kick. Um, I noticed that in a couple of the bows I built is a little bit of arrow kick. Um, I just stole this string from one of my other bows. Actually that uh, bow there um, I'm going to ship it out on uh, Monday to a good friend of mine in um, Utah of all places. Um, his name is Austin. He's a good kid and um, I hope he enjoys that bow very much. That's that saber bow I built. Um, well without any further ado, um, what do you say we take a couple shots at that target over there and see what we do. This is always a, <laughs> a fun moment for me to be able to do this. Um, let me just make sure that you can see the target. And I'll put this back a little bit back here, a little bit more. I went and broke the leg on my, my tripod. Or as Forrest Gump would say, it broke my leg on my tripod. <laughs> I've been watching Forrest Gump for the last week. I don't know why it's been on every day. Alright, let me grab my bucket over here. Some arrows. Y'all can see me okay? If it comes apart, you'll be able to laugh at me. <laughs> well, obviously the knock isn't right for this ball. But uh, let's put an arrow on there. That's pretty good. Right about there. Pretty good, uh, pretty good draw on it. I don't know what it is. I gotta get a scale. But, uh, it zips. That's a pretty strong bow. Definitely got to do more work in that handle. It's digging into my fingers. <laughs> this is a nice ball. Black Widow. Hopefully it sticks up to its uh, name. This one's going to be a good hunting bow right here. That's what this one's made for. It's got a real strong draw on it. This is going to be for someone who wants to take it hunting. But uh, we're going to fix this one up nice and fancy. That's a fast bow right there. I bet you that thing's humming along well over 220 feet per second. And I'm only coming about, I would say about 85% draw for me. So um, I could probably get a little bit more speed out of it too. But uh, there you go. The Widowmaker right there. Maybe it'll make some dough or hen turkey of. A widow or even a nice black bear this would be a good black bear bow I bet this thing's a real strong powerful bow wow I'm really impressed with this bow well if you like my work and you you're interested in something that I got then feel free to get in touch with me at two wolves archery my name is Tim uh, there's a phone number you could reach me at on my page so uh, hopefully we'll get a web page built pretty soon and you'll be able to contact me there and you'll see more of my bows that I make. Um, this is actually just a hobby of mine right now. Um, just having fun doing this and um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do watching my videos. So with that uh, we're going to take a couple more shots and then um, we'll get back to work finishing up this bow. There you go. The Widow Bow. We're going to take a bunch of wood out of here, all the way down in here. I'm going to see if I can put 
like a red there's red in here so I'm gonna try to make a red teardrop here and a red teardrop there like blood so like a drop of blood from the fangs so we'll see if I can do that I don't know <laughs> now I'm hopefully I'm gonna try to get one of my friends to uh, carve a uh, violin and then I'm gonna put red in the uh, carving and then lacquer it and put a red violin in the back of the bow so who knows we'll see how it goes thanks stay tuned